Okay, I've got a really quick one for you. This is how to download and install a preset in Premiere Pro. So I'm talking about effects presets. So notice when you're in your effects panel, you have all these nifty ones that uh, come pre-installed with Premiere Pro that you can kind of throw on your videos or whatever. Well, let's say I downloaded one and I want to install it. I'm not going to show you where to download them from. There's plenty of places that you can do that. But I've got these two here. I've got a Flash 2 preset, and I've got this uh, preset one from Jarl's Deadpool Camera Shake, and I want to install it into Premiere Pro. It's super quick and easy. In your effects panel, where it says Presets, just go right-click, Import Preset, go to wherever you downloaded it, in my case my Downloads folder, click on it, and before I hit open here, one thing I do want to call out, make sure it's the right type. So when you're downloading the format type, it needs to be that .prfpset. Um, sometimes people will download a preset for Premiere Pro, try to install it this way, and realize it's not working. That's most likely because it's the file type. It could be a LUT or something like that instead of an actual preset. So that's something to keep in mind if you go to do this and it won't let you install it. It might be the wrong file type. Okay, so I've got my Jarl's Deadpool Handshake one. I hit open, and now it has installed that into my presets list. That's how quick and easy it is to do. And then just as normal, you want to grab it and drag and drop it onto your timeline, and it will run that preset. Hey there, fans. So if you can see it was kind of a little shaky. Uh, that's actually what that preset was, was a handshake. Um, I'll show you that other one, that uh, flash one that I was looking at too. Let's say I drop that onto my image or my video, and we get that little flash hey there, there as it fans opens up. Or fan. Okay, the two of you. So um, just download it from whatever you're going to download it from, and then go to your effects, presets, right click, import, select it boom you're done make sure you save that preset somewhere because let's say later on you do an update or something like that for Premiere Pro it doesn't necessarily always transfer it from the older version to the newer version and you might need to go and then reinstall it again at a later date that's it have a nice day